And on this Thursday, good morning and welcome to Ryan Thule from COC. Good morning. You are the vice president of the Canyon Country Campus Research Planning and Grants. Yeah, so good to see you, Tori and Kyle. Uh, thanks for having me today. No wonder you have like the suit and tie thing going on. Oh, man. That is Sorry. some t- overdressed, right? <laughs> that is some title. Well, for us here at the station, you know, we're we're never on camera. You're on camera, but we're never on camera. I think we we're fine with that. Uh, tell me a little bit about the Canyon Country Campus. Sure. What's going on? Yeah, no, I'm here to tell you about our Canyon Country Campus, which a lot of folks have certainly heard about. Now it's our 15th anniversary. This act academic year. So we're over on Sierra Highway, uh, about 10 miles east of our Valencia campus. So pretty much everyone knows COC's Valencia campus, but I'm here today just to highlight some of the amazing work that COC does over on the east side of the valley. Excellent. So what 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 exactly do you guys do way over there on the east side? Well, there's quite a bit. On uh, the east thing, side of town. Yeah, we li- love to talk about it being a comprehensive campus. So our students can take complete degree programs uh, on campus. They mm-hmm. can take access to a variety of student services, events, really a uh, trying to have a full and complete college experience if you attended all of your classes at Canyon Country or if, like many of our students who take some at Canyon Country, some at Valencia, depending upon the semester of the instructor, we provide flexibility. So you can get what you get and, uh, you know, be successful wherever you attend. I love flexibility. Tell me a little bit about, tell me a little bit about that because flexibility, we need all the help we can get these days. There are there are people who want to go back to school after having children or maybe changing careers. And we need, because of our society and, and the way w- our lifestyle is, we need all the help we can get. So how does that exactly work, all the flexibility? Are, do you have day classes, night classes, weekend classes, online? What what exactly is going absolutely. on there? Absolutely. No, you got it right there. And, and you're, you're absolutely right to say that's uh, uh, definitely the sign of the time. Students and uh, our community want a variety of options. So we have pretty much everything. You can be full-time, on-site, you know, Monday, Wednesdays. Uh, you could be online only. You could be working in a applied trade class, or you could be doing something that's as high-tech as a science lab. Uh, we joke that we have everything from uh, non-credit, uh, just learning English, to Berkeley-bound biology. Everything in between. Our students are uh, sometimes just out of high school or uh, coming in as, a, as an adult or even a senior citizen to retrain, to do something different. So there's a little bit of everything there for everyone. A pretty impressive menu of options when you look at the classes. Uh, Tons of disciplines, tons of programs, and a lot of information on canyons.edu. So definitely check it out. Has there been an uptick since... Because just talking to some of my friends... Uh, has there been an uptick since COVID? I found a lot of my friends are changing careers and changing uh, their interests. Ha- have you seen that kind of reflected? I think we have, yeah. You know, you definitely see in the national news that there's a lot of folks who uh, took stock after the pandemic and said, you know, I want to do something different, or I had that passion project, I really wanted to get that, you know, a little more engineering background, or I wanted to study the arts. So we do have people coming back to school and taking advantage of that, and we want to be there for them, and COC always has, and I uh, always will have, I think, that broad menu of options and a lot of that flexibility that you mentioned. I'm seeing you have, you have a, do you have a party coming up? A, a ribbon cutting? What's going we on? We do, yeah. So next Tuesday, and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about today, oh, okay. we have a brand new Student Services and Learning Resources Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have now two brand new buildings built in the last couple of years. One, our Science Center, which we've uh, showcased during some of our events, and now this new Student Support Learning Resources Center, which is kind of the mirror image sister building to that site, a beautiful four-story, 55,000 square foot center that's uh, kind of been integrated one-stop location for all of our support services. So counseling, admissions, library, tutoring, some classrooms and meeting spaces to boot. It's a really nice space. And uh, on Tuesday, uh, April 25th at 1130, we're going to be officially ribbon cutting it. Uh, we're going to have some food and some uh, you know interactive tours and would love to invite anyone who'd love to uh, attend that. Who gets the big scissors? Uh, Dr. Van Hook and our board of trustees. So okay. there you go. I always need to know who that's gets right. the scissors. Yeah, and who it's gets great to have scissors, those big scissors, right? right? <laughs> um, you also have the partying does not stop there, sir. You have another party coming up at the end of the month next week, I believe. You Indeed. want to tell us about the Star Party? Sure, yeah. No, COC's Candy Country Campus has had a long history of having uh, community events. Uh, we've had Star Parties, and what we've rolled into our Science Talk series, everything from we've had chemists, biologists, uh, Houston astronauts, uh, JPL speakers, a variety of different professionals, including some of our faculty and students. So on Friday, April 28th, we have our next Science Talk Star Party edition. So we'll have a JPL scientist there 
talking about exoplanet discovery, uh, Dr. Jennifer Burt, and uh, will be on campus at the Canyon Country site on Sierra Highway, and go 7.30 till almost about 10 o'clock at night. It'll be presentation, interactive booths with our students and our faculty, so you can see a number of different student clubs and disciplines if you want to see what COC is about or talk to some of our staff or even just kind of touch and feel in a science fair kind of way. That's the event for you. And of course, there will be telescopes because it's a star party. We're going to be gazing at uh, some interesting celestial sites, and uh, you can see both uh, COC telescopes and some of our community astronomy partners that bring some amazing scopes to campus. You kind of think of everything there. I love that. Yeah. Then there's, uh, I just read this. What is a garden walk? Yeah, so that's, that's another May, one that's... of our science talk series. Yeah, oh, okay. It's Friday, May 5th. Friday, May 5th. You okay. got it. Uh, nine in the morning, um, and it's really about kind of being interactive on campus. So we'd love to talk about the campus being sort of a living lab. It's not just going into the classroom, locking the door, and all the good instruction takes place inside the classroom. We also have some faculty who love to walk around the campus, have plantings, and talk about sort of the environment of the campus and, and use that sort of as an outdoor classroom. So on uh, May 5th, uh, 9 to 11, we'll be doing an interactive walk with one of our uh, great instructors, Jeannie Chari. Actually got a National Science Foundation grant to help with some of her biodiversity work, and you can walk around with her. And uh, she's a, an expert on native bees, something I learned. I had no idea there was something different than the honeybee. There's these really interesting native bees that are all over Santa Clarita and in the gardens. And she'll walk and tour the campus and talk a whole bunch about sort of botany, biology, and uh, ecology. We need to take advantage of all these events because it seems like we could learn a lot from these free events. I I always do, for sure. (laughs) Right? I mean, uh, an education just in the free events. Uh, I know we're running out of time, but I just want to touch upon the summer. The summer comes very quickly once we get rolling in through spring, and all of a sudden it's here, school is out, and uh, regular school is out. Is there anything you guys are planning for the summer months? Yeah, absolutely. So summer uh, instruction actually is year-round at COC. So our spring semester will be wrapping up that first week in June, and then we roll right into the summer uh, intercession. Variety of classes, registration is open and available right now. So canyons.edu slash students, and you can go ahead and get started today. And our fall schedule was actually, believe it or not, posted this last week as well. So plan ahead, uh, come in, get connected, and we'd love to serve you up with some great instruction. I love that. How can we find out more about like everything? Is there just one place we go to find out what if we want to, you know, have some classes or go to the star party or the ribbon cutting with the big scissors? Is there one place we can just go and see everything there? Yeah, pretty much all on canyons.edu. Canyons.edu, you can click events for the event list. You can click students or schedule for registration or schedule information. And there's a whole bunch of other information. So uh, canyons.edu and dive on in. Ryan Thule from COC, a pleasure having you in studio today. It is canyons.edu. You can find out everything you need to know about the Canyon Country Campus, Valencia Campus, the the Star Party, the Big Scissors event, everything is... Go- I renamed it, by the way. I love I know. it. Yeah, okay. we're going with that. Um, <laughs> everything is there for you at canyons.edu. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much, Troy.